Hi guys, this is a Nokia mobile phone charger, quite an old one, and sometimes I've used it to try and charge little radio controlled cars that have lost their chargers when I've bought them in a charity shop. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. And so I'm going to take this apart and have a look at it. But the bottom line is, and you'll see this at the end of the video, although it says 3.7 volts output on it, if you measure it, it's nearer 9 volts. So unless you've got a charging circuit inside the radio controlled car that's going to drop that voltage back to the right voltage for the batteries, then you're probably going to blow it up. Hi guys. I've done a few videos recently where I've been taking things apart to have a look what's inside them. And I got this Nokia mobile phone charger out the other day. I sometimes use them to try and charge small rechargeable batteries in little radio controlled cars. Because this one's output is 3.7 volts, 355 milliamps. So that should be alright for some LiPo batteries. I mean Nokia mobile phones have that sort of battery in them anyway. Not sure how safe it is, I don't recommend it as something to do, but it's something that I've done in the past. Anyway, I thought I'd take it apart just so we can see what's inside. You need it's sort of a triangular screw driver to undo them and I happen to have a set of them. So We'll have a look inside. Bit of a tight fit there. But it's working. Well, that's simple enough. So, this is a UK plug. So we've got live and neutral and earth. Only that's just plastic, so there's nothing going to earth in this case. So just springs on the back that make contact directly with the terminals for the coil or transformer. So we've got two coils there, one to take the mains current and then the one on the other side behind the circuit board will be the one that drops it to the 3.7 volts. Is that going to come out? It's moving. Yep. There we go. So on the other side We've got well, there's a little pointer. We've got some diodes there, which will be a rectifier bridge. I can see one there, there's one in there, one in there, one there, and then this I think is one of those things that acts like a fuse. If it overheats, I think I'll have to look it up. But if it overheats, then it cuts the current or cuts the circuit. So the output to the phone is you know, one side of the coil, well one side of the rectifier bridge to be more exact, and then the other output goes via that and the other side of the rectifier bridge. So there's not a lot in there. I've no idea how smooth that will be. It's just a simple rectifier bridge. But obviously it's good enough to charge up Nokia mobile phones. Oh 
Okay, so that's given us 8.7 volts. That's a bit scary. It's only supposed to be giving us 3.7 volts. Because that's no load. So, probably not a good idea for using it to charge small LiPo batteries if that's the sort of output. be safer to put it through a buck converter just to smooth it off to the right voltage. There's a couple of playlists up here with similar projects so you might like to have a look at them and if you want to subscribe then click over here on my icon.